I'm Michelle Wright with the CowWhispersCreativeCards.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today we're going to be making this gorgeous Seasons Greeting card with the stylish Christmas stamp set. This is actually out of the annual catalog. I don't want you guys to miss this. Isn't that just stunning? Now I've paired it with the Festive Farmhouse Designer Series paper and some of the ribbon and things from the holiday catalog but no need to write anything down in the top in the eye and below in the description you will see a link back to my blog post with all the measurements for this card so you'll just click there hop right over and everything will be there now i'm going to tell you right off the bat i've chosen to bring in my stamparatus and why did i do that because i want to make sure that my poinsettia is ultra ultra rich in color okay so to just make absolutely sure that that happens i'm going to use my stamparatus and then i can stamp it multiple times if that's what i need to do gotta love that so let's just do that i'm gonna use cherry cobbler i'm gonna over here to my right, underneath my Stamparatus, over here, you can see I've put my stamp container. And that just gives it a little something to rest on. Helps it when you're inking it up. So, I'm going to go ahead and see what we get here. See? I want it richer. This is one of those distinctive stamps. I love them that Stampin' Up! has come up with. It's got all this tone and depth to it. So that's why I wanted to do that. Mmm, almost. And I'm using very vanilla. I'm going to go one more time. One more time. And you do it till your heart's content. If once was enough for you, hey, go for it. But I... Ooh, that's so pretty. And as it absorbs, it's going to uh, lighten up a little. Now, I'm going to just wipe this off. And for my leaves, I think I'll just go ahead. I'm going to pull them off my Stamparatus. Pull that off. I can put that away for now. For my leaves, I'm going to use Mossy Meadow. Let's put that Cherry Cobbler up before we have an uh oh moment. Because that could happen and you guys know it. All right. Ran our mossy meadow. And I'm just going to randomly stamp my leaves. And they're going to go off. This is another, you know, this whole set is that distinctively. So it's got that tone to it. Oh, it's so pretty. This one, I went ahead and did those in my... Uh, Stamparatus too, but this one I'm not going to show you the difference. See how they're not quite as rich where if I'd have used it, still gorgeous though. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I've got a tiny smudge there, but guess what? Our ribbon's going to cover that, so I'm not worried about it. Okay. Now, I've got my Tuxedo Memento Black, and I'm going to use this swoosh and the Seasons Greeting. I love the swoosh. Think about it for many, many other cards. You could use it for wind blowing, snow scenes. And because it's so big, I'm going to flip it upside down and actually take my ink pad to it instead of the other way around. And I'm just going to get that down here. Mm, so pretty. It's gorgeous. Okay, now where's my season's greetings? Let's ink that up. And let's make sure we're going the correct direction. I'm going to put that right up here. Let's make sure my card is good and straight on my grid paper. Highly recommend the grid paper for that very reason. Straight down and up. Oh, it's so pretty. And then, let's put it together. So, I went ahead and had some basic black. Let's put our berry vanilla down on that. 
you know this farm girl loves just a farmhouse paper and that plaid is stunning tiny tiny border all the way around You really want to let that dry because I see a little tiny smudge there. If you put it on thick, give it a, just a second to dry. Let it absorb in. And this is just a Tombow sand eraser. I have a tip video on that, so if you're interested in that, all you have to do, let's let that dry some more while I put these layers together, is just go to the right-hand side of my blog, scroll down. It says search this blog, put eraser in. The tip video will pull right up. And all my tip videos are usually right around three minutes or so long. So there we go. Now we want to pull in the new, what is this called? It is the reversible ribbon. And that's because if you look on this side, it's got more of a gold tint to it. And this side is more of the cherry cobbler, which is what I'm looking for. So let's just snip that off. See that? That's how much ink I got in my flower there. So just be mindful of that and you'll be good. Just going to roll this around the edge. This card, actually, I, I went a little long on that ribbon. I didn't need that much. It's stunning, though. And if you put those in your stamp rat, just think how many of those you could whip out that's what you want to do for your christmas cards that would be super simple super simple all right now let's get our mini sequins trim let me show you how i did this i'm going to go right over the top of this ribbon and i'm just going to bring some of this around right off the spool Stick it down there, came across, came to the back. Okay, nip it off. But you're like, wait, it had a knot. Yes, but trust me when I tell you, I found it much easier to take a snip of this sequin trim, come back, come under your trim and tie the knot much easier then you can trim it down to whatever size you want and who will ever know isn't it pretty okay that's a little long we'll nip that off beautiful okay now let's go back over the top of that I just kind of centered that up in my card like such. Ooh, did my sequins pop up from the back side? There we go. And if you want to make sure it really stays in place, grab yourself a glue dot. Kind of roll it up. Stick it right under that knot, just like that. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. So, don't forget about the stylish Christmas set. It's in the annual catalog, and I'll have it linked below, so you can just click right on it to purchase it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tip video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you live in the United States, I'd love to be your gal and sure appreciate your business. As always, I've listed two more videos at the end of this one that I think you may enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.